and that was due to Marty confirming it, making it in the match card. And here he is now. Marty is here to speak. Let's go. ABW Tampa. Who's ready to party, ladies and gentlemen? All right, all right. The new general manager debuting my new look, hell yeah. At best of the best, I'm very excited to announce tonight's show for you tonight. I got a lot of great matches, a lot of unique matches for you guys tonight. Incredible, I can't wait. Tonight, who wants to see uh, Mike Tut in action? Who wants to see a Toyota in action? You saw the opportunistic match and the Toyota looked amazing and the Toyota had no words to say last week. So I'm giving them an opportunity to have an incredible match tonight against Mike Tut. And yes, tonight, Opie Smith came to me and said he wants that match redone, no countouts. And I said, of course. Opie Smith, of course. That sounds like a money match for everyone here in Tampa, Florida. I admit Jay Vice is a little weird with his attitude. More matches. I mean, I, I just need to think. Joey Boom. Right, right. He's really not, hasn't been anywhere to be seen. Might be underneath the ring. Woo! Two weeks ago, he attacked... Ethan Quiseo in an attempt to get limelight, and you know what? I appreciate guys like that. So Ooh. Ethan Quiseo, tonight, you're gonna face Joey Boone in a nice old one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah! We don't really got anyone in Tampa Florida that wants to knock I down wanna see it. And Ethan Quiseo. We got a great, more show for you tonight. We got more matches, more. Oh, this guy, huh? Come on, man. It's trying to do my job. You attack me one week. Ruin it already. At least I did the man. Holy shit. Everybody wants business to be made. Ah. You, didn't, you didn't get it through, huh? You showed up. Marty party. Well, I could buy a whole casino if I wanted. We could both put the chips on the table and gamble some, but here we are here, Tampa, Florida. Yeah, yeah, Tampa. The home of the almost craziest pieces of shit I've ever seen in Florida. Florida man in the news. Marty, you're the number one Florida man. I mean, look at you. I can see you doing drug smuggling and all that shit. Look at how you look. Probably snorted a bunch of cocaine before you came out here. I mean, hell, man, you look like a, a mess in a suit. Putting the suit above your stinky, stinky, non-deodorized body. Well, Business Baron wants to make something clear. If you're going to try to ignore what I did to you, well, I'll just keep coming out and do it. All right. Listen, man. It's good that you're here. I like your repackaging. I honestly hated you as the Burglar Baron. I, everyone hated you as the Burglar Baron. But if you're here to do business, I mean, hell, I'll, I'll take the beating you gave me. I, I'm, I'm a wrestler, damn it. I, I know how to take some fucking bumps. But business baron, that's what you want to go by. Well, what do you want exactly? I want money, top dollar, million an hour. That's what I'm worth. You see, I took time away, catered to my kids, made sure that I upped my value in the stock market, made sure that I came back to ABW with green all over my motherfucking body. And Marty, you got to book Mr. Money, business baron. Put me in the tag team match. All right, you know I can't do that. All right, you, you know I'm not that, you know, you ain't that stupid. I know you don't want to do that either. You get your ass beat, no one likes you. But I like you because as much as you beat me up and as much as you're gonna get that back to you, it ain't gonna be by me, you see. As a general manager, I uh, would like to keep my job, I like to be professional doing this job. Oh yes, you wanna be a professional, yeah, yeah. Marty, what's your net worth? 13 grand? Yep. You're the most useless asset to this program I've seen in recent years. What? You're, you're, who, who put you in, in charge? That's my question. Who decided that Marty was the best fit for this role? The execs did, all right? They wanted someone with flame and fire. I mean, if they put you in this role, this show would lose ratings. The 18 to 49 demo would turn off because they see a, a gimp in a trash ass, uh, what, Goodwill suit coming out here trying to be all million dollars. I like your gimmick, kid, and I like where you're going. And Marty likes to party, and if you want to party, Marty, with Marty, 
Well, I can give you what you want. Exactly what I want. I wanted you to acknowledge the fact that I am business baron. So, up the stock market with you. Up the stock, oh, and down the stock market you go. Physically. You wanna go, motherfucker? Oh, what's going on here? Oh man, Lord. he's taking a second beating from Business Baron, but Marty, as a general manager, is trying to defend himself right now. Marty is not in a good place. Marty play. doesn't want to be doing this. No, he needs to. He needs to relax. But Business Baron is. Oh my God, is, dude. He's making the headlines by beating up the the. the this man isn't in the even suit. about business anymore, man. No, man. No, it is. He's taking business into himself. He wants to dominate Marty. He and he's doing it with with ease. I mean, tonight. I, Marty said he'd put Burglar Baron in a match. I'm gonna call him Burglar Baron. But oh man! Yeah, because he's stealing Marty's. He's he's really just ruining Marty's whole thing. He wants yeah. to just announce matches and 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 make the show clear. But no, I, I guess he's stealing Marty's time. Well, I assume that uh, it's like a it's like a time capture.